Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to another one of my deck guides. For today I have a monsters list for you. The leader ability is Overwhelming Hunger. We get to destroy an allied unit that spawn an Ekimara in its row and boost it by the destroy unit's power. We have two charges of this. One of the charges will simply be saved for Arrakis Queen when we are looking to consume Maddox with Arrakis Queen. So this is a a Maddox spam deck, all right? We're going for multiple Maddox with this. We can get four if we are going first and using Stratagem, but if we're going second, we can still go ahead with the Strat, but you know, obviously without Stratagem, we've got less of an activator. So we'll get three in that case. So one charge goes here at the time you consume Maddox, you get the other Maddox out by the death wish of Arrakis Queen. And then the other charge that we have is simply save for Plague Maiden just to activate her as well. So the leader ability that we have is Urn of Shadows, trigger the death wish of an allied unit. We're simply using Urn of Shadows onto Arrakis Queen after having consumed Maddox initially to get the extra Maddox spawn. I'm going to run you guys through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card in this deck and when to play it. What I'll say about this deck is, man, it's got to be like some of the most fun I've ever had playing monsters, to be honest with you. And you guys know me, I love monsters. It's my go-to faction. I've made so many monsters decks. But this deck is just so unique through Elf and Onion Soup and what you can pull with it. You're always playing something new and interesting, so it's really cool. But anyway, I'll take you guys through this list now. So we've got Squirrel to begin with. Squirrel's nice because you might be facing Maddox yourself. You can banish a Maddox if you find that comes up. Um, Flying Redanian with Syndicate. That's out at the moment. Crow Mother maybe if you're versing Alchemy decks. Um, and Echo cards can be good. Even Orbs with ST. It's a good target. I do have Werewolf in here because we are going a bit unitless. So... Basically, you know, we're going to have a lot of Maddox at one stage. We've got Frightener in this deck. We've got Alpha Werewolf. And we're going to look to try to play those cards together. And that way we've got points on the board. And, you know, our opponent can't really do any damage to us because all we've got on the board are just Maddox. And even if they want to kill the Maddox, we can bring them back out with bombs. So there's a bit of an immunity um, unitless theme to our deck because we've gone so heavy on bombs. So you're going to play this, um, it's pretty flexible to play, but like I said, if you want to make a round where you just play immunity units together, like Werewolf, Alpha Werewolf, and the Fright Nut, that could work too, and if you want to play out Bombs, um, that's fine. So yeah, we do have Maddox, and we're going to have a lot of Maddox, so I've gone extremely heavy on the amount of Bombs in this deck, pretty much maxed out on Bombs. Red Haze is nice, why not? Choose an enemy unit, then damage one adjacent enemy unit by its power. Could work really good. As you play Maddox, your opponent will start to row stack to avoid Cataclysm on both rows, and could fall into this. Samum, damage a unit by three. Death Blow, move adjacent units to the other row. This is good to, you know, get extra value out of the Cataclysm on both rows if your opponent's trying to avoid that. Also good against row, lo row lock cards ranged row, um, whether it's Siege with the Trebuchets, uh, maybe Freak Show, Melee Row, you can come up against some different cards like that. Could be a good value. Dancing Star, damage an enemy unit by three. Death Blows, damage to the unit to the right by one less. This could play for great value. You're usually going to play Dancing Star once Maddox done his damage, you know, with his uh, row effect and the power is down of the units. Dancing Star seems to be good then. Dimeridium Bomb, damage a unit by 4 and give it Veil. Pretty good, 4 points of damage is just nice to have. I've added 1 Moon Dust. Purify a unit and damage it by 4. Keep in mind, we could purify our own unit if it gets locked too. Maybe um, the Spear Tip, maybe a Rackus Queen, maybe if something gets poisoned that's tall. Northern Wind. Um, great card because it just banishes instantaneously as you damage something. Could be really good against mages at the moment. Then we've got Elf and Onion Soup. Man, this card is incredible. 
the value you get out of playing this is crazy guys <laughs> i've been getting some crazy crazy pulls with this card way above its provision cost so there's a specific way we're going to play this destroy two allied units of the same border color then create and play a unit of the same color from your faction or neutrals so obviously this card is so consistent in our deck because we're going to have multiple maddox right so play at any time with the maddox when they're on the board whenever you want to do it other targets can include roach that gets thinned out when we play a gold card and you've got tris as well but optimally it should be the maddox um some kind of a combo of using maddox with one of the others all right because the good thing about using maddox is you get the points back you just play a bomb back and they come back to the board you didn't lose anything play this card flexibly as you like wait until your opponent has some units down on the board because maybe you pull like a removal card with this who knows what you're going to get you can get some really amazing stuff a buyer we're simply using a buyer to trigger arrakis queen to get us the extra maddock so obviously first you're going to deploy arrakis queen consume maddock the next thing you're going to do is play a buyer onto arrakis queen it will trigger another maddock then you can go ahead and hit leader onto arrakis queen right it's a thrive unit as well we're looking to do this whole maddox spam um, strat round one it's optimal to get it out of the way so then we've got that consistent carryover of maddox points and all that control later i've got alpha werewolf in here because he fits with our fits with our unitless theme we're playing a lot of bombs maddox play him as you like it's it's pretty good six points guaranteed on the board no matter what Old Spear Tip Asleep. I've got this card in here for thinning. Thinning's important so we can get to our better cards by the end of a match. I like to play Old Spear Tip into round two, like on the push when you're bleeding with this deck, right? Round one, you set up all the Maddox, Arrakis, Queen, and Bayer. Round two, you can push with this. Perhaps Plague Maiden. We're looking to thin out Old Spear Tip. It goes to 18 um, point base power for Osril to consume later. As we just said, Oswald's going to be consuming the spear tip whenever you like, when you feel it's good for you during a match. But usually there's the final play in a match for us. Play it on the ranged row and we get a mad boost. I've got Roach in here for thinning at this time. Whenever you play a gold card, summon this unit from your deck to a random allied row. Roach will usually come out the, the moment we play defender. Usually we, we thin this out. Obviously that's how it works. But in terms of explaining our sequencing of play, First thing we like to do is play Defender, which will then draw this out. And then, you know, we go into Maddox, Arrakis, Queen, all that. So, yeah, round one card for us, Cave Troll. This is just to give Arrakis Queen protection so it can wait for a buyer to come down onto it. Frightener works sweet with our deck because Maddox destroying themselves, spawning Cataclysm triggers frightener so you can imagine if we got three or four it's, it just gets triggered in one in one turn you get it it's great great value and try to you can use frightener on a bleed to be honest if you want to push in with the maddox after establishing all those maddox in your graveyard for the next turn or you know you could finish a short round three with a frightener too you can really play it versatile how you like we've got royal decree just for access just um save this like to look for like a buyer to look for a queen cave troll like save the Kree for the important combination piece that we're trying to secure for the multi maddox man maddox a card that you're just going to keep in your deck and then we're going to allow this to get thinned out by playing a bomb so you play cave troll first then you wait for your opponent to play a, a unit out then you're going to hit the unit with a bomb it comes out wherever it goes, and then we just play into it from there. Arrakis Queen, a buyer. You know, it spawns Cataclysm. Pretty nice, consistent damage. Pretty annoying to verse if you can't shut this down. Got Arrakis Queen. It's just going to give us extra Maddox in this deck. Consume Maddox um, behind Cave Troll with this card, all right? Round one card. Plague Maiden is fantastic tempo. We're saving one leader charge for her and it, it gives us a ton a ton of points really good to push on a bleed or win on even round one with this card if you like 
Beatrice Telekinesis, create and play a bronze special card from either player's starting deck. Um, it's a range draw lock, keep that in mind, keep space. So keep in mind, you gotta look out for Plague Maiden, where you're playing it, and Triss, right? Because you don't want to clog up the row so you can't play Triss. But Triss makes sense in our deck, guys, because once again, it's a way to get an extra bomb, more than what we could otherwise have in our deck. Because we've maxed out on bombs. Triss could get us like another Haze, another Northern Wind, who knows, but it's great. It gives us extra Maddox value as we play on. Um, flexible card to use once again. Probably probably good on the push round two or three if you like. Old Spear Tip just gets thinned out through Sleeping Spear Tip simply and sets up a very good Osral finish at the end of a match for us. That's the outline of the list. Let me just briefly explain the strategy behind this deck. And we're going to talk in terms of if we were to have optimal hand, okay? Round one, the first thing you do, you play Cave Troll down. Cave Troll things out Roach. Your opponent plays a unit. You hit the unit with a bomb. Maddox comes out onto the board. Next turn, you go Arrakis Queen into Maddox. Um, subsequently, after that, you're going to play a buyer onto Arrakis Queen. Then you hit Stratagem onto Arrakis Queen. Then you hit Leader onto Arrakis Queen. Usually that's a fair bit of points and the opponent will pass. And then what you could do is into round two, um, straight up play Plague Maiden with Leader. Just get far ahead on points and just start playing your unitless stuff. Maybe even want to play Frightener on the bleed. Play, play Maddox with the bombs or the Cataclysm. Put some real, real pressure on your opponent to get some good stuff out. You can consider Elf and Onion Soup. Um, then in a short round, you know, you've got cards like Osril, maybe Triss if you didn't use her yet, um, Alpha Werewolf, and then all your, bomb, all your bombs to get Maddox back out at the end of a round. The deck is heaps of fun to play and it's surprisingly competitive. Share your feedback down below in the comment section. Okay, I think we can do it. Nice. Yeah, good, good. I think we can do it here. Wow. Okay. Let's go for it. Yeah, I guess we play it here for protection. Why not? His armor is going to be bad for us. What deck is this? Just the response I like to see. <laughs> it's a play. Um, it's a plague maiden deck, and it's a multi spam Madoff deck as well. Me here. Nice. All right, all right. Very good. Yeah, that's an awesome deck, Riverman. Nice. I had something similar. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, great swarms. That's fine, we just play Arrakis Queen up there. We go a buyer and leader next. Mm, simple. I would like to push it to the next round with this. Plague Maiden's really good for that. Leader is just for Arrakis Queen and Plague Maiden, that's it. Unit list should frustrate them later. Because, you know, we just got Frightener and Maddox afterwards. And we're just playing bombs. Should be good for us. <laughs> this is kind of a... Moving Defender around for us. 
and lakes of overseas London and Ah, uh, here we go. This is where the fun begins. Hard to miss. Ah, uh, no spinny. But I've seen them forfeit like sometimes early if I just play Cave Troll next to the Stratagem because they probably think I'm Gurney Spam. It's funny. We're kind of like faking the Gurney Spam as we open up. Yeah, we just want to push now. So we're just going to go like this. And um... That's fine. Ah, oh, I love it. Ah, uh, it feels good. I think they pass now. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. We'll just push into round two now. Yeah, you've had that happen too. <laughs> yeah, because we look like Gurney, you know? That's how they open up. You need a card where you can boost all the same card type? In this deck, you think? But Maddox are destroying themselves when they spawn Cataclysm. You think it, it's anti-synergy or not? Might be anti-synergy. Yeah, we got a lot of bomb sprite, and I've added in Trist so we get even more than what's possible, right? Because it's a unit, you can only have so many specials. So, it is nice for us. So, we could go something like Osral in a short round. We could just really push hard here, I think. Frightener gets triggered by the Maddox. We got four. So it's, I mean, they could heat wave that, but. Love you here to stay, Frost deck. Thank you, thank you, Sins. Yeah, sure, why not? I was playing those matches in, in pro. So, and climbing as well on my score. I think it can get you there for sure. It's got a lot of different um, good tactics in it. Give it a go. <laughs> oh, it's just funny to watch, eh? So we get an instant trigger on Frightener here. It's hilarious, man. As a finisher? Um, I don't know if you want to invest in something like that, like... Because they're probably... Are they going to last? Do you know if they're going to be on the board? I'm not sure. Give it, Give it a try if you like. I just find like going unit list and removals seems to be working better for me right now. Uh... Look, we could go elf and onion soup here right now if we want. I might wait on it a bit. Their whole board is just like full of freaking cataclysm. It's hilarious. Yes, I work. I work in mental health. Oh, that was a big muzzle. Damn. 
Okay. It's alright, we still got this. I get Triss next. M Muzzle was big, man. Damn, I swear if we got that through, that was good for us. It's a, it's a meta card at the moment. It is muzzles everywhere. I'm getting muzzled left, right, center. <laughs> I can't escape it at the moment. Alright. Yeah, it's a lot of points, yeah. Yeah, it's used a lot spenny, it is. Heaps at the moment. Good, good. It's just, yeah, short round now is, well, you know, we can go Osral onto Frightener. That's still a good backup, and we can just play that from hand. It's not bad. And there's a lot of carryover. You got to think about that. Three, six, nine, twelve point carryover. We just need one bomb. I wouldn't mind going Elf and Onion Soup here now, because there's a few tall units there, and you never know what you could catch. And we got a two-powered Maddock. Value-wise, it's it's probably okay. Let's see what we pull with it, hey? Wow! I'm not devotion though. <laughs> Shuffle a special card. Um, whenever you lose a round, that just dies right away though. I think it's going to be this. Oh my gosh, man. Are you for real? Unseen Elder? Hell <laughs> yes. Oh, that's sick. That is freaking sick. Yeah, that's right. Unseen Elder, what's up? Nah, I wouldn't go Siri. Nah, easy to die. They've got a boat there, they got leader. I know way. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. What a pool. Alright. I think I'm passing now. Any bugs? No. Why? Have you had some? Share them in chat so everyone knows. I don't know of any. That was a sick pull, man. Wow. Forget about bribery. We'll tend your ankle biters too. Yeah, I mean, we're good for a pass here. I think this is a really, really good pass. And then we've got a few tall units we can pull. And we're just going to rely on carryover. I think it's a, a very nice pass. We take it. Great bleed. I'm very happy with it. Like, they had Sunset Wanderers and everything, and we still got out of that. <laughs> Oh, that's epic, man. Oh, nice. Wow. Jeez.
I've stolen him using my NG deck. Devotion would activate. Yeah, I think he just stays consistent to his text. So whatever it is, whatever your deck's like. I think that's about right. Yeah. They probably got more Farglass. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Probably this is a bit sketchy now. Ah, man. We missed Ozzy and freaking spit him. Damn. Carryover is just beautiful here, but beautiful, beautiful carryover. Wow. I'm really liking this deck. You know, it's got kind of a meme -y vibe to it, but like, I don't know. It feels like pretty good in some cases, honestly. Wow. Oh my goodness. They got Morkvark, but they're screwed because they got no good targets. We got the Alpha Werewolf coming in hot. Oh, you forgot it was devoted? Yeah. Yeah, we're still quick. Oh my gosh, man. I think we got it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, what a bloody win. Two bricks. Wow, that's a bit unlucky. Um, so I, I could do it, but proactive play wise, it's a really awkward hand. We could still do the combo though. We don't have cave troll, so it makes it sketchy. We'll see how it goes. Because if they have heat wave or something, it's not good. For me, that would be really good to Northern Wind, wouldn't it? Like, so now if they got heat wave, it's a risk. It's a risk like this. If they got muzzle or heat wave. They probably got muzzle. Everyone's using muzzle. <laughs> we might see muzzle here. Last card? Um, they forfeited. You're talking about the deck we just versed, right? Maybe we just want to get rid of this first? Um, okay, I might Northern Wind that first. Because they really need it. Maybe a buyer next. With uh, Rackus Queen, we'll get into that. Wow! They have Madoc as well. Oh, I really didn't expect that. So we should roast stack? Maddox showdown. Bring it on. I've got more than one. Bring it on. I'll take your Maddox version on. Just don't heat wave Rackus Queen. 
Don't heat wave, whatever you do. Yes! It survives! Ah, uh, my friend. You'll soon convert to my style after this Madoc deck of yours. It's good. <laughs> yeah, Northern Wind. I hope they don't have it. Because it's a bit more pricey. You gotta remember, Northern Wind's 5 provision cost. This is a bit of points to cover, man. Is that, is that right that they played into that? We've got our combo. I don't mind passing, to be honest. It's a bit of points. How are they gonna cover those points? I just passed on 5. I don't know, you gotta watch points carefully, you know? Yeah, it's Maddox vs Maddox. That's it, they're outnumbered. I think they miscalculated points-wise. Yeah, that's it. Nice, nice. Very good. Yeah, we just squirrel their Maddox. Beautiful. We're just going for the 2 0 straight up. I've got to fish around to see what else we can get. Bad at math. <laughs> Pure evil. Ah, <laughs> oh, we, we've got the answers for all this, man. Nah, it's over. It's over, man. <laughs> this deck is filthy. Oh, man. This is a filthy deck, man. <laughs> Your archers don't mean anything to me. <laughs> they don't mean nothing. We're just gonna go 2 0, I think. Yeah, it should be 2 0. That just dies. Feel bad for them. Play our last bomb. And then, you know, we've got Plague Maiden and all that to consider. Uh huh. Elf and Onion Soup. I think we're going to go for it. For the king! <laughs> if, if they can do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've really shut them down badly here. Oh wow. Hey. Don't worry guys, we'll get elf and onion soup to, to compensate here. 
Wow, killed Tullus. Uh, I don't know if kill Tullus is worth it though. Kill Tullus could be a bit risky, can't it? <laughs> Should I do it for the memes? <laughs> <laughs> Back row. Like, I could play it melee, and we have Plague Maiden, ton of rats. Like, I could just do it for the memes, man. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, I'll do a melee row, whatever. I'll just do it for the sake of the fun. Because Plague Maiden's got a lot of rats, so... Oh wow, nice. Yeah, actually that's great for us because now we've given Osril a really nice target. Actually, we've got Frightener, what am I talking about? Frightener's even better. Um, this could be eight. I don't think it matters at this point. Even if they make it out of this, we got carryover with Maddox next turn. Wow, Draug. Mad win, mad win. That was epic, man. The stars are aligning. Yes. Thank you. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, Gwent. Appreciate you. Well, we can come back around to it, that's alright. Tonight years will be sleeping midst the seaweed. Yeah, that was Bright's call. Smart. can be filed within seven years. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Safe from Philippa. 1000 IQ play, yeah. Red Haze... Shouldn't kill? You mean when I was activating Frightener, eh? But they didn't know because... Frightener was on three. We were sneaky about it. Yeah. That's true. Because we did it late, remember? It was on counter three. So maybe they're thinking like, crap. They were counting on Maddox. Maybe that's what they thought. They thought they were safe. This guy's like, what the hell? Arrakis Queen onto Maddox? What is this? Salamandra has no fear of fire. This is good for elf and onion soup, but we don't have it here. Oh, Cheddar Paul. What's up, my brother? What's going on, my man? How are you? Welcome. Yeah, very well. How about you? <laughs> I 
was looking in your stream before, man. I saw you playing V, and you're doing something similar like this kind of a thing, but with V. It's nuts, but hats off to you, man. This, yo, this deck, Cheddar, it's crazy, dude. <laughs> we got the craziest combos in this deck. Man, we got Plague Maiden, Elf and Onion Soup. I've gone back to my Maddox deck, but I'm doing a different uh, variation. We've been having some good wins. It's super fun, man. Get so much carryover with these Maddox. Tonight, you will be sleeping amidst the seaweed. Thanks so much for the follow, everyone. Really appreciate the support. So yeah, check it out, man. Maddox spamming hard. This is this is just laughable. Look at this. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for the support. We're having so much fun, honestly. Wow, they're still playing into this? Dude, we're on 30 points. Wait, they're going to commit Savola here. <laughs> Do it, man. I want to see it. Bring Savola out. Maxi, seriously? Dude, they're on 6 points. Nah. Ruheen AQ, that's sick. Not bad, yeah. Ruheen feels a bit overpriced, man. He isn't respecting the Maddox. They're, they're way out of points here. We're going to see Savola or something else. Great. Yeah, big time. Let's do it. Get him. Man, we get the craziest high rolls with Elf and Onion Soup, guys. I got Unseen Elder from two Maddox. It's nuts what you can pull with that card. We got Keltalus on another one. I can't wait to put out the guide for this, seriously. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah, big time greedy, man. I think we win on five. They just pass. Maddox is insane carryovers. It's ridiculous. We get 12 point carryover. Forget about boat and all that. Learn that spell in Zeracania. Nah, homie, it's not enough. It's not enough, my guy. No way. We're gonna see Savoli here or something crazy. Ah, they're way out. One man's battlefield is another man's ripe patch for harvest. Oh, they got knickers. Nice. So you card advantage. I guess that's good too. We already set up our combos, so we're chilling. We need a dry pass card though. Maybe it's gonna be Decree, like into Squirrel. Hmm. I don't know if I wanna chuck Alpha here. Maybe. I'd rather keep it. It's probably going to be Alpha. Maybe we want to keep Decree for Triss. Because extra bombs. Wow, they're going to play into it? Really? They're thinking about it. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what I'm seeing here, man. Honestly. I can't believe what I'm seeing. <laughs> I've never seen this kind of a, a, a way to recuperate a lost card. Maybe I want to save Moondust for like a tax collector if it comes out or something. I might just do this just, just to get a carryover out. Take that, my army of Maddox is staring you down. <laughs> We could get Elf and Onion Soup, that's fine. I could make it my next play. Hey, what's up, Mr. Breed? Pono went mad, yeah. Touch Feel the
Given an allied unit vitality for uh Transform unit to the right into base copy. We didn't really get a good pull this one around. I could use this with Plague Maiden maybe somehow. I've given them the chance to pass if they want. I'm really surprised they played into it, <laughs> honestly. I just go Alpha next if they pass. Net decked Lionheart. Oh, really? Do you reckon they really play into it? Wow, my goodness, they really are. Jeez. Shocked, shocked. The beast shall be born, and the blood of innocence shall be born. What? Didn't pay tribute? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what to say at this point. Let's do this. I don't want I don't want to waste Plague Mate in here to be honest. I wanna save it. Feels like a self-bleed. <laughs> I'll just try to save our better stuff. I'll go werewolf next. It's gonna be Savola? Seven coin. Is it? Yeah, I think they're doing it. I think we can actually use this here. We're gonna actually end up using this. We're gonna transform the rats. If I play this here, transform unit to the right. I don't know how the positioning is going to work really, but whatever. We'll hit it. Okay. Base copy. Nah, we don't want to do that. So that becomes a four. Nah, we're not doing it. Yeah, it does. What a play, eh? Honestly. Very unusual play here. So they're going like all in or what? Mortart? Yeah, yeah. Super fun, yeah. It can work, like, in a swarm deck. Yeah, with the drones, right? Oh, wow. 
Um. Okay, so what should I play here then? See Jekyll, going all in. What's the best play we could do here? Let me just do this. And I'll flick spear tip away. And we'll just go bombs and frightener. I think it's enough. Should be good. Yeah. Decrease spear tip, yep. Yeah, it's great hand, no problem. Ah, uh, beautiful. No way they come back from this, I'm telling you. I really love how Frightener works in this deck. Maddox trigger it. Easy, done deal. We got it. <laughs> Ulkroy, what's up, man? Yes, they are, bro. I'm keeping the MO dream alive with Cheddar Paul. Yo, check this carryover, you ready? Check this out, guys. Who needs boat when you got Maddox? <laughs> uh, oh, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I time the north was cleansed. Let them kill that if they want. <laughs> what a deck, honestly. Oh, well. Ruthless, ruthless. We're going on a winning spree with this deck. Jeez. We're pretty happy with this. Wow. What a hand, eh? It's like everything you need in the match. <laughs> Round one. What's up, Nate Dog? I'm doing my uh, multi Maddox deck. But it's a different version. We've got like Elf and Onion Soup. We've got Triss for extra bombs. It's crazy, man. We've had some crazy matches. I hope you'll like the deck guide when it comes out. This is already looking like a good Elf and Onion Soup target. Yeah, we get our full combo here. This is fantastic. I love, I love it when it goes smoothly like this. Let's just go up Bayer next. Wow, it actually went for that. All right. That's it. Now we've got our whole Maddox. Quad Maddox is done this match. Wow. Ah, uh, it's filthy. So we, I, I'd say we bleed for sure. If we get Plague Maiden, it will be fantastic. I believe we will with my luck.
I reckon we just go bombs now. <laughs> just get as toxic as possible. This could work still. I could try to play this like a bit late into the round. Just so they waste whatever removals they got. On Maddox or whatnot. So we just go like this. So the Maddox trigger the Frightener. That's how this works. 12 point carryover. Insane. I can do a great deal more. Sweet. They don't even get any damage through. We can get Elf and Onion Soup onto the damaged Maddox. There we go. We got our target. Wow. Regis Bloodlust. I don't think I've ever even played that card. <laughs> Fisher King. Move any card from your deck to the top. Wow. Um, maybe Fisher King is smart. <laughs> For real, man. It's crazy. Yeah, I guess Decree. Banish Coral. Yeah, it could have been a call too. Decree is pretty nice though. It's your favorite card? Yeah, it works good in SK Alchemy. Impending Doom. Yeah, pretty much, man. Yeah, we actually, um... Well, I, I don't want to spend Northern Wind on just Coral now. Great. This deck looks really fun. Wait till you play it. It is. Trust me, it is. It's it's just crazy what we pull with it. The elf and onion soup value. Like I said, I was telling everyone earlier, I got like unseen elder Keltalus. You get some crazy, crazy pulls. It's a lot of fun to play. So yeah, we we could start look to set up this. Um, because yeah, they're just playing like kind of bronzes. Should be alright now. And we got Tris Telekinesis. They probably got damage for that. But thinning out old spear tip is not bad either. More points. Do you always get to set up Maddox in round one? Um, the consistency is not too bad to be honest. We we only require a few cards, so it's not like you need heaps of things. So you need Defender for some protection, you need a buyer, you know, Arrakis Queen, bombs to pull out Maddox. It's fairly consistent to be honest with you. And if you don't get it round one by round two, you'll get your combos. So it seems to work nice. Okay, so that ends up thinning out. Yep, yep. I'm hitting that because we might get haze now with Triss. You never know. So we could get a good haze kill, possibly. Yeah. 
But the bleed looks alright so far. I could go like leader onto spear tip now. Okay. If they hit Maddock, it's not so bad anyway with Coral. We don't really care because we just replay them. <laughs> Man, what a deck. Honestly.